what is chiral carbon so car uh, chiral carbon is a uh, carbon which have four different atoms or group attached to this uh, attached to it so this carbon also called as the asymmetric carbon the c one example so this is the carbon which have four different groups you can see one hydrogen oh cs3 and coh so this carbon is called as the chiral carbon if you take the mirror image also so on taking mirror image uh, this carbon you are getting uh, this type of structure so again this having the four different groups similarly here uh, in this case again you can see as the oh prcl so brcl are atoms if any you can put fluorine or uh, iodine so if you put iodine fluorine so again this carbon has four different uh, atoms so this is a chiral carbon and the chiral carbons if you take the mirror image so this mirror image uh, cannot superimpose you can see this uh, on the it's a mirror image and if you rotate by this is uh, one rotation on 80 degree rotation so you will get these structures so OH and BR will be interchanged and uh, you can see uh, if you overlap these two structures so this two structure cannot be superimposed or overlaps so this is a chiral molecule or you can say this carbon is called as chiral carbon Similarly, in this structure also, this carbon, chiral carbon, having the four different groups. Again, if you take the mirror image, again, you have you know, this structure. Again, this is also a chiral carbon. And these two uh, structures, again, it is called as the enantiomers because of the uh, uh, structures is different and they cannot superimpose to each other. Now, let us see the other examples of chiral carbon. So, this is the bond line rotation of uh, some compound, a cyclic compound, and you can see. Uh, this carbon is chiral carbon because this is the uh, C2H5, this is a different group and it has one hydrogen. So there are four different groups, so this carbon is chiral. Again, in this case, this is a Br, CS3 and this is the true carbon is there and hydrogen is there. So again, this carbon is your chiral carbon. Now in this case, so you can see here, uh, this carbon cannot be chiral because these two groups are the same functional, same group is there. So this cannot be chiral, but this is chiral. Because this is the different group, this is CS3 and this is one hydrogen. Again, this whole is the different group. So, one, two, three, and four. So, again, this carbon is chiral carbon. And if you can notice carefully, uh, chiral carbons are normally they are sp3 hybridized. But uh, this is not always true. We'll see one case why uh, all chiral carbons cannot be sp3 hybridized. Cyclic, so in cyclic compound, if the two substituent in the rings must be different. And chiral center is again uh, detected by the symmetrical division. So let us see. This is the compound is achiral. Why it is achiral? Because Cl and hydrogen is again two different. But if you do division, uh, symmetrical division, you can see this side is same group, this has same groups. So again, this cannot be your uh, called as chiral. This is a achiral. But in this case, if you divide it uh, like this one, so you can say this side double bond, this is single bond. So these two have different groups. So this is your chiral. We have some more examples here. So in this course, if this is your, uh, let us see this example. So this carbon is a chiral, but this two will be your chiral centers. So this carbon is chiral, this carbon is chiral. So there are two chiral centers here in this cyclic compound. Again, in the cyclic compound, you can see here. So there are, uh, this is your uh, four different groups. So this is a chiral carbon, this is a chiral carbon, this is chiral carbon, chiral carbon, chiral carbon. So there are five chiral, chiral carbon in this uh, group. And on, uh, in this group, again, you can see this is the chiral, this is chiral, this is chiral, this is chiral. This is chiral. So total, how many chiral centers are there? There are 5 plus 4, 9 chiral centers are there in this whole molecule. In this molecule, uh, there in this carbon having two same groups, so this cannot be called as the chiral molecule and this carbon is also not chiral. So this is a achiral compound. Now if you see here, so this compound is again, if you see carefully, it is a compound of glucose. So this is chiral, this is a chiral, this is a chiral, this is chiral. So there are four chiral centers in the one molecule of glucose. In this molecule, this is a chiral, this is chiral. So there are two carbon which is chiral. So there are two chiral centers in this whole molecule. Now if you can see this ammonia is a sp3 hybridization. This is also sp3 hybridization. And it has one hydrogen, one CS3 and one is different groups or one is the lone pair. But still this cannot be called as a chiral. Because in this case, the case is different. So we'll talk later on. Why this, if this is sp3 and it has different groups, but why this is not called as a chiral? Let us see in this case, this is a fructose molecule. So there are three uh, chiral centers, one here, one here, and one here. So in fructose, there are three chiral centers. And in glucose, we have four chiral centers. Compounds like this one, this is a chiral because these two are different. 
but these two are opposite. This is not a chiral. This is not the chiral. So these are a chiral. This is a chiral, but this is a chiral. So if you divide by these centers, so these two are again different. So we will get the this is optically active compounds. So this is the your chiral carbon. So this compound is your optically active. Isotopes also act as different groups or create chiral centers. So this is a chiral carbon and you can see hydrogen, deuterium, tritium and methyl group. So this is the chiral carbon. Again, uh, there are two different functional uh, isotopes of chlorine, 35 and 37. So this is again chiral carbon. But this is not a chiral. Why? Because these two are Cl are same. Attached to the this same carbon. So this is not, this is a chiral. But these two are chiral. Atoms other than carbon such as nitrogen, phosphorus, silicon and sulfur, they can also have chirality center. Let us see how. So in this case, if you see carefully, this is the amine salt. Means this nitrogen having the four different groups. And this is the salt, this is the positive and negative. So this nitrogen is having the chiral center. This is a chiral carbon, so amine salt. Even if you see cyclic carbon, this is a salt, this is plus there. So this quaternary ammonium salt, again this nitrogen is the chiral carbon. But this is a chiral. Why? Because uh, this two is a uh, same methyl group is present. So this uh, amine is again a chiral because presence of two same group is there. Now in this case, uh, tertiary amine. So this is a tertiary amine which have uh, methyl, C2H5 and hydrogen and with have one known pair. So in this compound, this is the optically inactive compound. This is the sp3 hybridized, but it has chiral center also because uh, the, uh, the uh, central atom have three, uh, four different groups. But this is optically inactive. Why this optically inactive? Because it will undergo the inverted at room temperature immediately. Because tertiary amines are a chiral at room temperature. Why? Because rapid inversion. So they invertly inverted. So this inversion is called as the umbrella inversion. This type of inversion is called as umbrella inversion. And uh, one more important thing is that these two compounds also cannot be separated due to its rapid inversion. So at a uh, transition state, uh, this will uh, attain the shape of this is sp2. This is the shape of sp2. Again, this will go like this. Is. Now here also, this compound is chiral. Again, you can see why. Because this is again in, uh, exceptions. Uh, one, two, three. So this is a chiral but optically inactive so because in this case inversion will not take place so we'll see one more uh, some cases where the uh, nitrogen has some exceptions sp2 hybridized atoms have flat geometry in case of um, nitrogen but so can't be chiral can't be chiral like carbocation uh, r1 r2 r3 and c positive the carbocation free radicals r1 r3 this is the r2 r2 with radicals so R2 with radicals, uh, carbon with free radicals, C double bond C, C double bond O, A C, A C derivatives, C double bond N in A mines and oxygen, all these are sp2 hybridized. So they cannot be chiral. You have to uh, remember as a note. Now here also tertiary carbonyl is again a chiral. So again it undergoes a rapid inversion. So it, uh, you can see here, it does not involve a bond breaking bond formation. So this is also optically inactive and a chiral compound. In case of phosphorus, same thing is there. So these three are uh, same groups. So this is a chiral, but if, if they have different uh, groups are there, so this is a chiral. Again, this is a chiral with having different type of groups. In case of silicon, there are different type of groups. This is again a uh, chiral compounds. In case of silicon, trivalent sulfur and phosphorus with a lone pair can be chiral. So this is you have to remember. In case of nitrogen, uh, the compound is not having chiral center but optically inactive but their lone pair is counted in case of sulfur and phosphorus so sulfur having lone pair so this is your uh, having r1 r3 r2 so this is your chiral compound this is a salt again this is a lone pair so here no rapid inversion take place in case of sulfur phosphorus so these two are again chiral this lone pair is counted as a one groups here also one two three four you can see very clearly so this is again a chiral molecular chiral compound. Find out the number of chiral centers. Uh, there are uh, five comp six compounds are there. So let us uh, see this is the one. So uh, this is the your chiral center and this is again chiral centers. Again this is a chiral centers. Uh, nitrogen has four. This is again sp3 hybridization but this does not have a chiral centers because uh, this nitrogen present in the aliphatic 
uh, this chain so there is a three chiral center over here now in this case uh, one center is here one carbon chiral center is here one here so there will be three chiral centers here in this case now if you see over here so there is one uh, again two again three again four so here in this case we have four chiral centers now in this case so one is uh, here again second again uh, this nitrogen present in the cyclic carbon so again one chiral centers so again here one chiral center so one two three four so there are four chiral centers present in this molecule now if you see this uh, e so we have one chiral centers here again we have one more chiral centers again one more chiral centers here one more again here one more again here one more here one more and here this is not possible because both are same group so uh, one two three uh, four five uh, six and seven so there are seven uh, chiral centers are in this molecule now coming to the next one so uh, chiral centers so this nitrogen present in the aliphat is a cyclic chain so one center here and again this carbon is present, nitrogen present in the uh, cyclic chain so again so there are two chiral centers are present in this molecule so these are the answers so uh, you have to be careful if nitrogen present in the cyclic compound so this can be a chiral center but if it is present in aliphatic chain like this so they it will lost it will lose its chirality so here you have to note it down in cyclic means uh, these are the optically active compounds why because inversion is restricted uh, due to the cyclic structure so this compound is a uh, chiral because these are schematic structures but in this compound so there are two chiral center one is here one is here so nitrogen with lone pair in the cyclic structure is optically active but if it is acyclic then lone pair becomes uh, is not counted then uh, due to amine inversion so this uh, lone pair is not counted though it has chiral centers and only cyclic means uh, the lone pair is counted but in, if it is acyclic then lone pair is not counted though it has one chiral center so please note it in this mind this one it so this is a one uh, example of tetracycline uh, and now you have to find out how many asymmetric carbons are there so asymmetric carbons mean we have to find out the chiral carbon so one chiral carbon is uh, uh, number six one is your number seven one is your eight uh, so one is your nine as uh, so we have uh, the ne next is your four and three so if you see carefully uh, this is chiral center this is seven is chiral center four different groups are there eight is not chiral center nine is again chiral four is chiral and three is chiral so uh, eight is not chiral so this is not chiral center so there are five chiral centers are there and nitrogen is not chiral because two the same group are there so this is not chiral this also not chiral so there are five chiral centers are present in this whole a tetracycline compound. 